Hello everyone, Denise here. Um, I hope you're having a good day. Today is Saturday, November 23rd, 2024. Just wanted to do a really quick update. Heading off to my job, my second job, Target. Um, this is one week later um, from when the incident happened. And um, so I just wanted to give a little update on how is it been since I've been back there. And well, there's definitely a shift in the atmosphere. <laughs> Okay, um, just going to work and, you know, I can feel it, all right? I've literally grown eyes on the back of, in the back of my head, okay? So, um, just from that whole experience and, and how it took three of the LGBTQ community, took three of them to put me in a little room and tell me to take this off, okay? And, and the door was shut and I'm like in this little room with three of them against me, I guess. And, and then God brought to my mind, you know, a little later that I have three with me also. <laughs> okay, God, the Father, God, the Son and the Holy Spirit in me. And then there's me. So, you know, there's four of us all together. And it reminds me reminded me of, of the fire, fiery furnace, you know, how Jesus was with the three young Jewish men, you know, and and he gets us through it. And I know God is in this situation. I have no idea what, what God's going to do next. You know, I mean, I'm, am I comfortable working there? No, you know, not anymore. I don't trust them at all. It was just tricky how they would not put in writing. Um, just gave me a list of papers with phone numbers on it, you know, um, not even saying I was fired, not even making up something for firing me like my one job did before my before my daytime job that I have now, okay? They, they put one of those people in charge and she found a reason, you know, to get me out the door. And so this isn't, you know, something new that has happened to me, okay? And it's certainly not the worst thing I've been through. I mean, once you die, okay, I mean, what could be worse than that? And even God brought me, brought me back again, okay? Um, but a whole nother story, you know, so I only have about 10 minutes here, but just wanted to give you guys an update. There is a shift in the atmosphere. Um, and like I told my son, and many people are saying you should have sued them, you should have sued them. But since they came out and did that public apology saying they'd reinstate me immediately, which they did, you know, for my job. I mean, none of this should have happened. Okay. I mean, th they say they claim to be in, it's on paper written that they are an equal opportunity employer. And the religion, you know, freedom of our religion doesn't matter, you know, is included in that. But I wear this as a badge of honor. I mean, this badge obviously has a lot of power on it, you know, um, for them to, three of them, to put me in a room and, and say, you know, if you just take it off, you can stay. All right. And like my son said, mom, if they were really sorry, they would have fired those three people immediately but those three people are still there, okay? And even when I went back and, and, and the head lady, you know, said, said you know, you're, um, we're worried about your safety and all that. You know, I'm not worried about my safety because I know I am not alone. And, and you all out there, you know, just the outpouring of support really is strengthening me in this situation. And, and we all need to be strengthened, okay? God seems to have his lights all spread out, you know? That's why it may feel like in your community, you're all alone. You know, you might, and, and it does wear on you. You know, it vexes our spirits, okay? But, but greater is he that is in us than he that is in this world, guys. You know, and I can remember years ago... Um, uh, reading, you know, stories in my son's, you know, when he was in kindergarten, first grade, and then, you know, a little bit in second grade, they would, uh, the teachers would allow me to come in and read stories. Um, one day I wanted to, and I've shared this before on a previous video, kind of way back about a year or two ago, but um, one day I kind of mentioned Jesus a little bit and the teacher immediately got up and wonderful teacher, Mrs. Frace, <laughs> you know, she was wonderful with Zach, you know, when he first started in school and all that. But anyway, um, loved her to pieces, but she got up and said, Denise, you can't do that. And, and this is what, and my son's 21 now, this is way back when, when he was in kindergarten. Okay. 
and it, you know kind of when this stuff was really starting to manifest okay and and um, she she said believe me if if I wasn't a school teacher I'd probably be a Sunday school teacher but because everybody comes from different backgrounds and all that you just can't do that you know and and the children you know you know were listening and and you know of course my son would always run and hide under tables and all that you know but and he's not, he's grown into quite the humble man now but um anyway um I wasn't allowed to bring up Jesus and then as my son's going through you know through his grades you know growing and all that then more and more they're teaching and bringing up this community and pushing that on our children guys but taking God out now we have school shootings that happen you know I mean they took the Ten Commandments out of the schools back about the time I was born you know and then you know don't think this isn't part there's no devil okay lucifer exists all right and we are in the end times and people are calling good evil and, and evil good guys you know and, and the word of god says bring your children up in the way of the lord and when they are older they will not depart from it right so so anyway um i just find that sad you know that society has accepted you know this you know P these people pushing on us you know their rainbows which is god's rainbow by the way there is a very there's a rainbow that surrounds his throne and don't think you know i mean it's just you know the enemy doesn't like that there's because he knows that there's there's a rainbow around the throne of god and he tries to steal everything that god has you know and so have have i've had a a great sorry guys a great outpouring of support from all of you new subscribers you are so welcome here thank you for your support you know everybody and and you know we need to pray for each other and I pray every day that God strengthen us his body you know um, because we I know that the spiritual warfare is real and um, so you probably wonder why my comments are off it, it is because I have no time for trolls okay because you know where there's truth you know satan's going to send his children which aren't the brightest by the way and um he's going to send his children in and and you know i don't even give them the time of day they get blocked immediately once i find them there and i've had quite a bit of that on my facebook page and even one lady stating wasn't this part of your plan <laughs> you know like i planned to get fired a week ago today at target as i'm finishing as i'm later on in the day only had a couple hours left or whatever you know like i planned all this and she and i'm not going to respond to that guys you know there's a reason you feel like when you do that stuff with people you're just going to get nowhere with that you feel like your energy is being sucked out because they don't have the energy of the holy spirit in them okay and they need that they don't even realize okay guys we don't fight against people but principalities and darkness and high places right you know i don't have the verses right in front of me so kind of paraphrasing there but that is who we are up against and these people you know one commenter like he mentioned you know they're they've been brainwashed yeah from a child okay and my son knew all along growing up that that was wrong and, and his father and I would tell him when they start pushing that on you you let us know and we we'd go to the school and say we don't when you guys start teaching on this and bringing these people in for story time which they can very much express, you know, their stuff. But you as a Christian can't bring up Jesus. You know, Jesus said, don't forbid the children to come to me. For, for theirs is the kingdom of God. For such is theirs the kingdom of God. All right, you know. And so I find it to be no coincidence that that is the very thing that Satan is brainwashing people about. And it's so sad. You know, and my son said, Mom, you should have sued them. And I and I told my son, I said, you, and then after Target came out with that public apology, I said, son, there is nothing more valuable than a good reputation and integrity. Okay, you know, and, and working hard. The Bible says work, work hard before everyone, even your enemies will respect you and ask no man for anything. Okay, so where this is going to go from here, I don't know okay but god is definitely on the move and all your support helps you know we need to band together and 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 you know we will not be overtaken we will not be overcome no matter what is going on you know greater is he that is in us and he that is in this world and we need to wear you know 
our faith as a badge of honor because there is power in it. And obviously the enemy, you know, is, um, you know, he doesn't like that. Okay. It scares him. And he, all he has is fear. Okay. Everything from the enemy is fear driven, but faith drives out fear guys. And, and so we got to be bold as lions and gentle as doves and just walk through this valley of darkness until our Lord and Savior gets us out of here. And we need to stand strong because time is running out. So got to get to work. You know, I just wanted to kind of give this update on how things are going now. So um, could always use your prayers, guys. And I'm praying for all of you. So thank you so much. So I just, I, I'm amazed. You know, I thought it was just over with, you know, got a little got on the news, you know, and I had to, I was pushed in a corner. What else was I going to do? You know, I'm not going to take off my, my badge. No way. And, and so I had no choice but to go to the news. And, um, but my job is taken back, you know, and I am wearing my badge, watching my back, but I know again that I'm not alone and you are not alone either. Okay. God's watching this situation. So just hang in there, everyone. And until next time, God bless you all and take care.